Hello, my name is Keelan McCarthy, founder of Mindful Tradition, and we are here today to do some boudoir yoga. If you're not familiar with this, that's because I created it. <laughs> boudoir yoga is about preparing you emotionally, physically, and spiritually for a boudoir photo experience. And so that means like self-empowerment, self-love, like feeling super grounded in the skin that you're in, and also working to tone up the muscle groups of the body that are key to a boudoir photo session. If you don't have a boudoir photo session book, that's cool because like I said, it's all about that self-love and feeling just love for who you are and where you are in your journey today. So grab some comfortable clothes and a smile and we'll get started. Today, we're going to begin our practice in a comfortable seated position. So that could be on the floor. It could be in a chair, just establishing for yourself in your body what feels right today to start. But wherever you're sitting, really rooting down through the sits bones. And you can find those by moving the fleshy part of the buttocks out of the way. And then those bones that are right there. Those are the sits bones. So really root down through those and then let that lift you all the way up to the crown of the head. Okay. Relaxing the shoulders down the back body, finding a smile and just settling into this space. You want to make sure that the head is over the heart. The heart is over the pelvis. We have this tendency as humans to kind of like lean forward for what's to come but we want to stay nice and centered in the here and now. Once you've established that, you're feeling nice and cozy, you can allow the eyes to begin to soften or close. Dropping into the space, dropping into you. Trusting that you have everything you need to be here. There's no better way to be than you right now. There's no better place to be than here and now. Connecting to the breath in and out of the nose. And with that inhale, breathing in absolute love and acceptance of self. Let that in-breath nourish you all the way down to your soul. And when you breathe out through the nose, release any negative thoughts or feelings that you have about your physical being. So that in-breath is being used to refresh and regenerate and renew you. And that exhale is releasing all that bad juju that you just don't need anymore. It's not serving you and you don't have time for it. Breathing deep and settling in. Once you're feeling nice and connected to your physical being and the space around you, you can allow the eyes to flutter back open. And on an inhale, we're going to bring the arms out wide, side to side, till the palms touch overhead. Exhale, slide the hands down to heart center. Two more of these big, beautiful sun breaths, just starting to take in the space, taking ownership. Moving gracefully, moving in a way that you're like, yeah, I want to spend time with that chick. <sighs> Inhale to return to center. Bring the palms back behind you just to stabilize you. And then we're going to bring the soles of the feet flat on the ground in front of you. Inhale in. We're going to bring the knees to one side and then reach all the way through to the other side, reaching back. Exhale to return to center. Inhale to reach all the way up and through. Exhale to center. And just begin to feel comfortable moving in your body and explore it a little bit. Let it be a dance. Let it be something that's fun and that nourishes you. And each time you go side to side, ask yourself, is there something new to explore in your own physical body? Something new to love and connect to. 
I promise you there are things to love and connect to. One more time on each side. And then returning to center, bringing the soles of the feet to touch in front of you. And we're just going to give ourselves a little foot massage. This here is the good stuff. This is all about the self-love. How do we meet our own needs? How do we take the time to tend to ourselves in a loving and tender way, knowing that you are worth it? Hmm. Also, just added bonus pro tip. There's 120,000 nerve endings in the body. 70,000 of them are in your feet. So when you are massaging your feet, you're actually like, it's a double win. You're massaging all the other parts of your body that these nerve endings are connected to. So it's all the good stuff. All right. Once that feels nice and juicy, we're going to bring one leg in, bring the other leg in front of it. Inhale to reach up to the sky once again. Nice and tall, and then exhale, hinging forward at the hips. Slide those palms forward. Forehead can come to touch the ground, or you could stack a palm on a palm, hand on hand, whatever floats your boat. This is about you finding what feels nourishing in your body now. Try rocking side to side, seeing how that feels. Inhaling in to slide back up, connected to that fire in the belly here, letting that lead your movements from a place of strength and stability. And then we're going to bring the other leg in front this time. Once again, inhaling up nice and tall, reaching up, and then exhale, floating all the way down to the earth, acknowledging that each side of the body is different. So even if you could bring your forehead all the way down to the earth on the other side, you may need a little assistance on this side, and that's all good. It's just information about where your physical being is at today. Hmm. Inhaling in once again to return to that upright seated position, and then we're going to come forward onto the hands and knees here. Hmm. Knees are going to be stacked under hips. Hands are going to be stacked under the shoulders. Uh, if you experience any sensitivity in the wrists, an uh, option here to make fists with the hands because it takes that pressure off the wrist. And then inhale, we're going to drop the belly down, open the heart up, lift and rise tall. Bring your like queendom self to this, right? Like, yes, queen, look to the sky. You are radiant and gorgeous. And then exhale, round the spine, pull the belly button up and in. Allow that crown of the head to drop towards the ground now. Inhaling in, opening up. Always option here to add movement side to side. Exhale, rounding and returning home. One more inhale here. And then exhale. And returning to that flat back, we're going to walk the hands forward a little bit farther up the mat and bring the knees to be about the width of the mat and just pick a direction to start circling the hips. And these could be big circles, small circles, silly circles, serious circles. A little Dr. Seuss there. But just finding what feels delicious, what feels delightful, what speaks to you on a soul level while moving your body? And then when you're ready, reversing, going the opposite way here. Ooh, I got some pops. That's always a good sign. And then letting those circles get smaller and smaller. And once again, walking the palms even farther up the mat here. And then use an exhale to melt the heart, melt the forehead all the way to the mat, coming into puppy pose, opening up the shoulders here. Hmm. Three deep breaths here. Feeling that connection to the earth. 
letting it ground you, knowing that as awesome and fun as boudoir yoga and a boudoir photo session is, it's just as important to find the balance in being grounded and stable. Inhale in to slide those hands back under the shoulders. Press yourself up to a seated position. Curl those toes under all the way. Now, you might need to invite those pinky toes, like assist them to get them all the way curled under. And then inhaling in, lifting up through the crown of the head, shoulders up or hands up at shoulder height. And then exhale, rotate those palms Float them all the way back behind the body. Interlace those fingers and then pull back and down with those palms, opening the heart up while stretching the feet. Working in a nice little back bend here. Working the feet and basically just being awesome. Deep breath in through the nose and then exhale, hinge up at the hips. Once you're all the way back upright, you can release the clasp the hands, come forward onto the hands, and just tap the tops of the feet because it can be a pretty intense stretch. Just rotate the ankles one direction and then the other. And then lower yourself all the way down to the ground here. Hands are stacked under the shoulders. Elbows are tucked into the side body. And then your forehead, chin, or mouth is resting on the mat. And then on an inhale, we're going to lift up the upper back, the head. Make sure we're smiling, pressing into the pelvis, the legs, the top of the feet. Baby cobra, staying strong here in the back bend. And then exhale to melt all the way back down to the ground. Inhale to lift up once again. Exhale to melt back down. And then inhaling, really pressing into the pelvis, the legs, the feet, and even the hands this time coming up a little bit farther. If you experience any pinching or numbness, please come back down. That is your body asking you to be gentle and kind. Elbows tucked into the side body, shoulders relaxed and away from the ears, and exhale, come all the way down, bringing a cheek to rest on the mat. Inhaling and pressing into those hands, coming up onto the knees, curling those toes under once again, and pressing up onto those feet, we're gonna come into a yogic squat here. So ideally, the soles of the feet would be flat on the ground. If not, that's cool. That's where you're at in your journey. And you can just come onto the toes. But inhaling, bring the hands to heart center. And then use those elbows to press those legs out and open here. Breathing deep with a nice flat back. Hmm. Right? Just shaw hang out like this all the time. Imagine like corporate work meetings where women are just like hanging out on the table in a yogic squat. That's the world that I want to live in. All right. Last big deep breath in here. And then exhale. We're going to drop the hands down to the ground. We're going to sit all the way back onto our tush. Make sure you're in the middle of the mat here so you're not um, like falling off your back. Soles of the feet flat on the ground, and then slowly lower yourself down here. All right. In order to be in alignment for this next pose, you just want to make sure that you can touch the heels of the feet with the middle fingers here, like you're just grazing it. That will help keep your knees over your ankles, which keeps everything in alignment and safe in the body. And from here, on an inhale... We're going to press into those hands on the ground and the feet, lifting the hips up. Exhale, melt them back down. Inhaling in to lift those hips towards the sky. Exhale to melt them down. And then inhaling up this time to really hold as far as you can go. So option to be anywhere that feels right for you. And if you'd like to continue, you can roll one shoulder under the back and then the other. Clasp 
the hands together and really press down into those hands. So if you're here, the chin or the chest is coming towards the chin, the chin is lifting towards the sky, and you're going to maintain that natural arc to the back of the neck. Breathing deep here, finding your power, your strength, your divinity, knowing that you have everything you need to be here now or to be anywhere ever. Hmm. One more deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale. You can unclasp those hands if they're clasped. Unroll one shoulder and then the other. And then slowly with control, lower the hips back down to the mat. Walk the feet to be the width of the mat, so just bring them to the edge of your mat, and then allow the knees to fall in towards each other for a moment. So you have a hand on the belly, a hand on the heart, and allow the eyes to soften or close for a moment. Return to that loving breath. Return to that idea of releasing what is no longer serving you. Inhale to return back to the space. Um, create some distance between those knees, and then we're going to windshield wiper the legs. Super technical yoga term. It's just like imagining like your legs are like windshield wipers on the car, like going from one side to the other. And then the next time they go to the side, allow them just to stay to that side. Open up the arms into like cactus or goalpost arms. So you're bent at the elbows at a 90 degree. And then on an exhale, turn the head to look in the opposite direction of the legs. Nice and grounded through the shoulders here. Some nice deep breaths in through the nose. And out through the nose. Winding down our practice today, being thankful for the space that we've created for ourselves. Inhale to bring the knees to center and the head to center, and then exhale, find the balance and working with the other side of the body. Allowing the eyes to soften or close, acknowledging your own divinity, your own awesomeness your own unique magic. Inhaling in, returning to center, and now preparing for Shavasana, extending both legs out. See, I'm off the mat, hold on. <laughs> extending both legs out and bringing the palms up towards the sky. And then taking any last minutes or moments here to do what feels right. Like if you're chilly, do you need a sweater? Would it be more comfortable if you had a blanket um, on top of your mat? Acknowledging that the more relaxed and comfortable you are in this space, the more you're going to receive from it. Taking the opportunity right now before floating off into your Shavasana to allow each muscle of the body to let go starting at the top of the head, through the neck and the shoulders, the left arm and the right arm, the muscles of the chest, the belly, the pelvis and hips, the right leg and the right foot, the left leg and the left foot. Fully surrendering and offering it all of the gesture of self-love.
option here to stay in this restorative gesture for as long as you'd like. And then when you're ready, comfortably coming back to a seated position with all the gentility and self-compassion you can muster. Mm. On an inhale, bringing the hands to heart center, knowing that my wish for you on this day and every day that follows is peace of body, peace of heart, and peace of mind. Namaste. Namaste.